Radio. Cybercrime is costing the world billions of dollars annually. And guess what? This trend is expected to continue as cyber criminals become more sophisticated in their strategies. My guest on the show leads the nation's formal cybersecurity association and he joins me to discuss cybersecurity trends, particularly data privacy. Our Tech Tips shares five mobile apps that allows you to learn Nigerian languages. Let's kick off the show with some tech news and updates. This is Tech Trends and I'm Chukomeka Agbata. The advance of technology is based on making it fit in so that you don't really even notice it, so it's part of everyday life. As part of efforts to mark the fifth anniversary of the kidnapping of 276 schoolgirls in Chibok, northern Nigeria, filmmaker Joel Kachi Benson uses virtual reality technology to give audiences a chance to have a 360-degree viewing experience. A short film titled Daughters of Chibok is about a mother whose daughter was abducted by Boko Haram. When they told me that my daughter, Rifkatu, was among the girls that were kidnapped from the school, I could not believe it. The 11-minute documentary, which took about two weeks to film, takes viewers through the daily struggles and hopes of Iyana Galang, a farmer whose 18-year-old daughter, Rifkatu, was abducted in 2014 from her secondary school. This is you in another person's world. You know, you can look around you in 360. You know, I think there's a different connection that it has, you know, for, for viewers. And um, when you're able to look around, see their world, see how they live, see how they eat, see what kind of schools their kids go to, see what kind of farms they farm in, you know, maybe you sort of appreciate their struggle a little bit better. Benson, who's been making movies for over 10 years, says he started experimenting with virtual reality just last year. The documentary cost him over 11,000 US dollars to produce. Dela Musa was one of the film's viewers. Living the pain of those women as a mother, I feel their pain. I know exactly what it is to go through this kind of thing. So it's, it's not a good experience, although I enjoyed watching it, but it's not an experience that anybody wants to go through. According to the filmmaker, the length of the movie was short because of the format in which it was shot in virtual reality. 